We gather near the middle summer's eve to share our tale of conflict and of love. A war is winding down and winter's thaw reveals a world that's twisted and askew. What is true nature's course? We will soon see. As mismatched lovers will in vain pursue and fairies meddle with affairs, then flee. We will learn if love is lost or love is true. From palace into forest we will go. And time will show us what we are to know. Play begins at the palace a few days before the festive wedding of Duke Theseus and his war one bride, Hippolyta. My fair Hippolyta, our nuptial hour draws on apace. Four happy days bring on another moon, but oh, how slow this old moon begins to wane. It lingers like a stepdame or dowager long withering out a young man's revenue. Four days we could quickly stip themselves the nights, four nights we quickly drum away the time, and then the moon, like a silver bow new bent in heaven, shall behold the nights of our solemnities. Go, Philostrate, send forth the Athenian youth to merriment, stir the pert and nimble spirit to mirth, turn melancholy fort to funerals, it is a pale companion for our pomp. Hippolytha, I wooed thee with my sword and won thy love doing thee injury, but I will wed thee in another key, with triumph, with pomp and with revelling! But no sooner has Theseus ordered the festivities and merriment of his wedding day, when his friend Aegeus brings a complaint against Lysander, who is in love with his daughter, Hermia. But Hermia has been betrothed to Demetrius. Told that she must marry Demetrius or spend the rest of her life in a convent, Hermia plans to run away with Lysander. Hermia tells Helena, who is in love with Demetrius, of her plans to run away and marry Lysander. <laughs> How happy some or other some can be. Through Athens I am thought as fair as she. But what of that? Demetrius thinks not so. He will not know what all but he do know. For ere Demetrius looked on Hermia's eyne, he hailed down oaths that he were only mine. And when this hail some heat from Hermia felt, so he dissolved, and showers of oaths did melt. I will go tell him of Hermia's flight, then to the woods will he tomorrow night pursue her. If I have thanks it is a dear expense, for here in me nigh to enrich my pain, to have his sight thither and back again.
to Bella's Mendes, now to Tinker, look to join her, come on! Wait for me, bottom! Wait for me, bottom! Wait for me, bottom! Hello, listeners! Whither wander you? Over hill, over dale, through bush, through briar, over park, over pale, through flood, through fire. I do wander everywhere, swifter than the noon fear, and I serve the fairy queen to do her orbs upon the green. The king doth keep his revels here tonight, take heed the queen come not within his sight, for Oberon is passing fell and wrath, because that she and her attendant hath a lovely boy. Stolen from an Indian king, she never had so sweet a changeling. And jealous Oberon would have the boy, knight of his train, to trace the forest wild. But she perforce the poor lover boy, crowns him with flowers and makes him all her joy. Either I mistake your shape or make him quite, or you're that shrewd knave sprite called Robin Goodfellow. Are not you he that frightens the maiden's villagery? Does that sweet hobgoblin call you sweet puck? You do their work, and they shall have good luck. Are not you he? This speak is the right. I am that merry wanderer of the night. I jest to Oberon and make him smile. <laughs> Room fairy, here comes Oberon. And here, my mistress, would that he were gone. Ill met by moonlight, proud Titania. What jealous Oberon? Fairies escape hence. I have forsworn his bed and company. Tarry, rash, wanton, am I not thy lord? Then I must be thy lady. Why should Titania cross her Oberon? I but do but beg a changeling boy to be my henchman. Set your heart at rest. The fairy land buys not the child of me. His mother was a votress of my order, for she being a mortal of that boy to die. And for her sake do I wrap up her boy, and for her sake I'll not part with him. These are the forgeries of jealousy. And ever since the middle summer spring have met we on hill, dale, forest or mead, by paved fountain or by rush brook, to dance our ringlets to the whistling wind. But with thy brows thou hast disturbed our sport. Therefore the winds piping to us in vain, as in revenge, have sucked up from the sea contagious fogs, which fall in the land have every pelting river made so proud. The ox had therefore shred his yoke in vain, the ploughman lost his sweat, and the green corn rotted, had rotted ere his attained the beard. The food stands empty in the drowned field, and crows are fatted with Miriam flock. The human mortals want the winter here, no night is now with no night is now with the car blast or hymns or and the same progeny of evil comes from our debate from our deception we are the parents and the original how long within this wood intend you stay perchance to laugh the Theseus wedding day if you patiently dance in our rounds and see what the moonlight reveals go with us if not show me and I spare your hounds give me that boy and I will go with thee not for thy fairy kingdom, fairies, fairies away. We shall tie down right if I learn. Well, go thy way. Thou shalt not from this grove until I torment thee for this injury. My gentle pup, come hither. Thou rememberest the first time I did see, or thou couldst not. Flying between the cold moon and the earth, Cupid, all armed, a certain aim he took at a fair vestal thrown it from the west, and loosed his love shaft smartly from his bow, as though it would strike a hundred thousand hearts. Yet marked I where the boat did fall, it fell upon a little western flower, once milk white, now purple with love's injury, and maidens call it love in idleness. Fetch me this flower. The herb I showed thee once, the juice of it when laid on sleeping eyelids, shall make our man or woman madly dote upon the first thing that it sees. Fetch me this herb, and be here again, ere the leviathan can swim a league. I'll put a girdle around the earth in forty minutes. 
Having once this juice, I'll watch Titania as she sleeps. The next thing then on waking she looks upon, be it on lion or bear, wolf or bull, be it on meddling monkey or busy ape, she shall pursue it with the soul of love. And ere I lift this charm from off her sight, as I may do with another herb, I'll make her render up her page to me. But who comes here? I am invisible, and I will overhear their conference. I love thee not, therefore pursue me not. Where is Lysander and fair Hermia? The one I'll slay, the other slayeth me. Thou toldst me they were stolen unto this wood, and here I am, and woed wood in this wood, because I cannot meet with fair Hermia. Hence get thee gone, and follow me no more. You draw me, you hard-hearted adamant. But yet you draw not iron, for my heart is true as steel. Leave you your power to draw, and I shall have no power to follow you. <sighs> do I entice thee? Do I speak thee fair? Or rather, do I not in plainest truth tell you that I do not, nor can I not love you? And even for that do I love you the more. I am your spaniel, and Demetrius, the more you beat me, I will fawn on you. Use me, but as your spaniel. Strike me, spurn me, neglect me, lose me. Only give me leave, unworthy as I am, to follow you. Oh, tempt not too much the hatred of my spirit, for I am sick when I do look on thee. And I am sick when I look not on you. I'll run from thee, I'll hide me in the brakes, and leave thee to the mercy of the wild beasts. The wildest have not such a heart as you. Run when you will, the story shall be changed. Apollo flies and Daphne holds the chain. I will not stay thy questions, let me go. And do not believe, if thou followest me, I will do you mischief in the woods. Aye, in the temple, in the town, the fields. You do me mischief. Bye, Demetrius. Your wrongs do set a scandal on my sex. We cannot fight for love as men may do. We should be wooed, and we're not made to woo. I'll follow thee and make a heaven of hell to die upon the hand I love so well. Fare thee well, nymph. And ere he do leave this grove, thou shalt fly him, and he shall seek thy love. Hast thou the flower? Welcome, wanderer. Aye, there it is. I pray thee, give it to me. I know a bank whereon the wild thyme blows, where oxlip and violets grow. There sleeps Titania some time of the night. Nestling in these flowers with dreams of delight. With this flower I'll anoint her eyes and render to hateful fantasies. Take thou some of it and seek through this grove. A young Athenian lady is in love with a disdainful youth. Anoint his eyes, but do it so the next thing that he espies shall be the lady. Effective with some care so that he may render has love more than hers. And be thou here again ere the first cock crow. Fear not, my lord, your servants shall do so. Whee! Come now, Raldo and Ferris song. Sing me asleep. Then to your offices and let me rest. Close thine eyes and drift away upon a shining star. Hear the sound of fairy song that's coming from afar. Let all thy worries disappear until the morning. Dream of some enchanted place.
place the sweet summer night. Hence, asleep, now all is well. What thou seest when thou awakest, do it for thy lo true love take, love and language for his sake. When thou wakest, tis thy dear, do it when some vile thing is near. Speak it, truth. I've forgot our way. Well, rest us, Hermia, if you think it good, and tarry for the comfort of the day. Be it so, Lysander. Find you out of bed, for I upon this bank will rest my head. One turf shall serve a pillow for us both. One heart, one bed, two bosoms, and one throat. Nay, good Lysander, for my sake, my dear, lie farther off yet. Do not lie so near. Oh, take the sense, sweet, of my innocence. Love takes the meaning in love's conference. I mean that my heart onto yours is knit. So that one heart we can make of it. Two bosoms interchanged with an oat, so then two single bosoms and one throat. Then by your side, no bedroom me deny, for lying so, Hermia. I do not lie. Lysander riddles very prettily. Now much beshrew my manners and my pride if Hermia meant to say Lysander lied. But gentle friend, for love and courtesy, lie further off. In human modesty, such separation, as may well be said, becomes a virtuous bachelor and a maid. So far be distant, and good night, sweet friend. Thy love ne'er alter till thy sweet life end. Amen, amen to that fair prayer, say I, and then end life when I end loyalty. Here is my bed, sleep, give thee all his rest. With half that wish, the wisher's eyes be pressed. <sighs> Through the forest have I gone, but a Athenian found I none, on whose eyes I might approve this flower's forces, stirring love. Night and silence, who is here? We to Athens he doth wear. This is he, my master said, despised the Athenian maid. <laughs> and here the maiden, sleeping sound on the dank and dirty ground. Pretty soul, she durst not lie near this lack love, this kill curtsy. Chill upon thy eyes I throw all the powers this charm doth owe. When thou wakest, let love forbid Sleep his seat on thy eyelid. So awake when I am gone, For I must now to Oberon. Stay, though thou kill me, sweet Demetrius. I charge thee hence, and do not haunt me thus. Oh, wilt thou darkly leave me? Do not so. Stay on thy peril, I alone will go. <sighs> oh. oh, I am out of breath in this fond chase. The more my prayer, the lesser is my grace. But who is here? Lysander? On the ground? Dead or asleep, I see no blood, no wound. Lysander, if you live, good sir, awake. Mm -hmm. 
and run through fire I would for thy sweet sake. Transparent helmet, nature shows a dart that through thy bosom makes me see thy heart. Where's Demetrius? Oh, how fit a word is that vile man to perish on my sword? Do not say so, Lysander. Say not so. What though he love your Hermia lord? What though? Yet Hermia still loves you. Then be content. Content? But Hermia? No, I do repent the tedious minutes I have spent with her. Not Hermia, but Helena. I love. Who will not change a raven for a dove? Wherefore was I to this keen mockery born? When, at your hands, did I deserve this scorn? Is it not enough, is it not enough, young man, that I did never, no, nor never can deserve a sweet look from Demetrius' eye? But you must flout my insufficiency. Oh, that a lady of one man be refused. Should of another therefore be abused? She sees not Hermia. Hermia sleeps out there. And never mayst come Lysander near. And here, in all of my love and all of my might, is to honour Helen and to be her knight. See their knavery. This is but to make an ass of me, to frighten me. I will not stir from this place. I shall walk up and down, and I shall sing. I am not afraid. I'm not afraid. Do 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 do. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not. No, sir, I'm not afraid. I'm not. Afraid, no sorry, I'm not afraid. What angels wakes me from my flowery bed? I pray thee, gentle mortal, sing me again. Mine ear is much enamoured of thy notes, and mine eyes much enthralled with thy shape. And thy virtues false by false doth move me. From the first will to say, to swear, I love thee. Methinks, mistress. You should have little reason for that, and yet to say the truth. Thou art as wise as thou art as beautiful. I am not, but I have had wit enough to get out of this wood. I must serve my own turn. Out this wood do not desire to go. Thou shalt remain here whether thou wilt or not. I am spirit of no common rate. The summer still doth turn upon my state. And I do love thee, therefore go with me. I'll give the fairies to attend on thee. And they shall fed the jewels from the deep. And while thou unpressed thou sleep, I'll purge thy mortal grossness, so that thou like a narrow spirit go. Hail, mortal. Hail. 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 Come. Wait upon him, lead him to my bower. The moon, methinks, looks with an ottery eye, and when she whips, she whips every little flower, lamenting some enforced chastity. <laughs> Ties up my tongue's love and bring him silently. Lysander, help me! Do thy best to pluck this crawling serpent from my breast! Ay, me! For pity, what a dream was here! Lysander, look how I do quake with fear! Lysander? What? Removed? 
Lysander! Lord! What? Out of hearing? Gone? No sound? No word? No. And I well perceive you are not nigh. Either death or you well find immediate lie. I wonder if Titania be awaked. Then what it is that next come in her eye that she must dote on in extremity? Here comes my messenger. How now, mad spirit? My mistress with a monster is in love. <laughs> Near to her close and consecrated bower, while she was in her dull and sleeping hour, a crew of patches, rude mechanicals, who work for bread on Athenian stalls, met together to rehearse a play intended for Gratheseus's nuptial day. The shallowest, thick-skinned one I sprightly led, an ass is now fixed upon his head, and forth my mimic comes when they him spy. So at his sight, away his fellows fly. <laughs> I led them on in this distracted fear and left foolish bottom translated there. When in that moment, so it came to pass, Titania waked and straight away loved an ass. <laughs> This falls out better than I could devise. But hast thou latched the Athenians' eyes with the love juice as I bid thee do? That is finished too. Uh, I took him sleeping, and the Athenian woman by his side, though, so that when he waked, of force she must be eyed. Stand close, it is the same Athenian. This is the woman, but not this the man. Oh, why rebuke him that loves you so? Lay breath so bitter on your bitter foe. Now I but chide, but I should use thee worse, for thou, I fear, hast given me cause to curse. It cannot be, but thou hast murdered him. So should a murderer look so dead, so grim. So should the murdered look, so should I, pierced through the heart with your stern cruelty. Yet you, the murderer, Look, as bright, as clear, as yonder Venus in her glimmering sphere. What's this to my Lysander? Where is he? Ah, good Demetrius, wilt thou give him me? I had rather give his carcass to my hounds. Out, dog, out, cur, thou drivest me past the bounds of maiden's patience. Hast thou slain him then? You spend your passion on a mispriced mood. I am not guilty of Lysander's blood, nor is he dead for aught that I can tell. I pray thee tell me then that he is well. If I could, what would I get there for? A privilege never to see me more, and from thy hated presence part I so. See me no more, whether he be dead or no. There is no following her in this fierce vein. Here, therefore, for a while I shall remain. So sorrow's heaviness doth heavier grow. With death, the bankrupt sleep that sorrow owe, which now in some slight measure it will pay, if for here in his tender I make some stay. What hast thou done? Thou hast mistaken quite. Thou hast laid the love juice in some true love sight. Of thy misprison, perhaps since so. A true love turned, not a false love turned true. Then fate overrules that 
one man holding throat, a million fail confounding oath and oath. About the wood go faster than the wind, and Helena of Athens look thee find, all fancy sick and pale of cheer, by some illusion fetch her here, and I will charm his eyes when she doth appear. I go, I go. Look how I go, swifter than the arrow from the Tartar's bow. Whee! Flower of purple dye, hit with Cupid's archery. Sink in apple's eye, when his love he doth espy. Let her shine as gloriously as Venus in the sky. When thou wakest, if she be by, beg of her for remedy. Captain of our fairy band, Helena is here at hand. And the youth mistook by me, pleading for a lover's fee. Shall we their fond pageant see? Oh Lord, what fools these mortals be! <laughs> Stand aside, the noise they make shall cause Demetrius to awake. Then will two at once woo one, and that must needs be sport alone. And those things do best please me that befall preposterously. Why should you think that I should woo in scorn? These vows are Hermia's. Will you give her o'er? They had no judgment but the whore I'd sworn. Nor none in my mind, now you give her o'er. Oh, but Demetrius, he loves her and he loves not you. Oh, Helen, goddess, nymph, perfect, divine. Oh, spite, oh, how? I see you all are bent to set against me for your merriment. You! are unkind, Demetrius. I mean, be not so, for you love Hermia. This you know I know. And here, in all goodwill, in all my heart, in Hermia's love, I yield you up my part, and yours of Helena to me be bequeathed, whom I do love till my death. <laughs> Never did mockers waste more idle breath. Lysander, keep thy Hermia, I will none. If e'er I loved her, all that love is gone. My heart to her, I guessed why it's sojourned. And now, to Helen, it is home returned. There to remain. Helen, it is not so. Disparage not the fate thou dost not know. Lest to thy peril thou abideth there. <laughs> Look where thy love comes. Yonder is thy dear. Thou art not. By mine eye, Lysander found. My dear, I thank it brought me to thy sound. But why, unkindly, didst thou leave me so? Why should he stay whom love thou pressed to go? What love could press Lysander from my side? <laughs> Lysander's love thou will not hesh and bide. Fair Helen, who more in glides the night than all yon fiery eyes and o's of life? Why seekst thou me? I mean, could not. This make thee know the hate I bear for thee that made me leave thee so. You speak not as you think, it cannot be. Lo, she is one of this confederacy. Now I perceive they have conjoined all three to fashion this false sport in spite of me. Injurious Hermia, most ungrateful maid. Have you conspired? Have you with these contrived to bait me with this foul derision? Is all the counsel that we two have shared, the sisters' vows, the hours that we have spent when we have chid the hasty-footed time for parting us? Oh, is all forgot? Will you rent our ancient love asunder to join with men in scorning your poor friend? It is not friendly. Tis not maidenly. Our sex, as well as I, may chide you for it, though I alone do feel the injury. I am amazed at your passionate words. I scorn you not. It seems that you scorn me. Have you not set Lysander, as in scorn, to follow me and praise my eyes and face and made your other love 
Demetrius, who even but now did spurn me with his foot to call me goddess, nymph divine, and rare, precious celestial. Wherefore speaks he this to her he hates? And wherefore does Lysander deny your love so rich within his soul and tender me for Sooth's affection? But by your setting on, by your consent, what, though I be not so in grace as you, so hung upon with love, so fortunate, but miserable most to love unloved, this you should pity not despise. I understand not what you mean by this. I do persever counterfeit sad looks, make mouths upon me, wink each at other, hold the sweet jest up. This sport well carried shall be chronicled. If you have any pity, grace or manners, you would not make me such an argument. But fare ye well, tis partly my own fault. Which death or absence soon shall remedy. Stay, gentle Helena, hear my excuse, my love, my life, my soul for Helena. Oh, excellent. Sweet, do not scorn her so. If she cannot entreat, I can compel. Those can compel no more than she can entreat. Thy threats have no more strength than her weak prayers. Helena, I love thee by my life. I swear by that, to, which I, I swear by that, to prove him false who says, I love thee not. I say I love thee more than he can do. If thou say so, withdraw and prove it too. Come quick. Lysander, where to tends all this? Away, you Ethiop. Why are you grown so rude? What change is this sweet love? Thy love? Out, tang tartar. Out, loaded potion. Hated medicine, hence! Do you not jest? Yes, soothe, and so do you. Demetrius, I will keep my word with thee. I would I had your bond, for I perceive a weak bond holds you. I'll not trust your word. What? Should I strike her? Kill her? Harm her? Kill her dead? Although I hate her, I'll not harm her so. What? Can you do me greater harm than hate? Hate me? Wherefore? Oh, me, what? News, my love, am not I, Hermia, are not you, Lysander? I am as fair now as I was erewhile. Since night you loved me, yet since night you left me. Why, then you left me. Oh, the gods forbid, in earnest, shall I say. Aye, by my life, I never did desire to see any more. Therefore, be out of hope, question, doubt. Be certain, nothing truer. Tis no jest that I do hate thee, and I do love Helena. Oh, me, you juggler! You canker blossom, you thief of love! What, have you come by night and stolen my love's heart from him? Fine, if faith. <laughs> have you no modesty, no maiden shame, no touch of bashfulness. What? Will you tear impatient answers from my gentle tongue? Fie, fie, you counterfeit, you puppet, you puppet! Why so? Ay, uh, that way goes the game. Now I perceive that she hath made compare between our statures. She hath urged her height and with her personage, her tall personage, her height, forsooth she hath prevailed with him. And are you grown so high in his esteem because I am so dwarfish and so low? How low am I, thou painted maple? Speak! How low am I? I am not yet so low but that my nails can reach unto thine eyes! I pray you, though you mock me, gentlemen, let her not hurt me. I was never cursed. I have no gift at all in shrewishness. I am a right maid for my cowardice. Let her not strike me. You perhaps may think because she is something 
lower than myself uh, that I can match her. Lower! Hark! Again! Good Hermia, do not be so bitter with me. I evermore did love you, Hermia, never wronged you. Save that for love unto Demetrius, I told him of your stealth unto this wood. He followed you for love, I followed him, but he hath chid me hence and threatened me to strike me, spurn me, nay, to kill me too. And now, so you will let me quiet go, to Athens will I bear my folly back and follow you no further. Let me go. You see how simple and how fond I am. Why, get you gone. Who is it that hinders you? A foolish heart that I leave here behind. What, with Lysander? With Demetrius. Be not afraid. She will not harm thee, Helen, or so. No, sir, she shall not, though you take her part. Oh, and she is angry. She is keen and shrewd. She was a vixen when she went to school. And though she be but little, she is fierce. A little again. Nothing but low and little. Why will you suffer her to flout me thus? Let me come to her! Get you gone, you dwarf. You minimist, hindering, not grass made you. Bead, you acorn. Ugh. You are too officious in her behalf that scorns your services. Speak not of Helena, take not her part, let her alone. If thou dost intend never so little of love show to her, or thou wilt abide it. Now she holds me not. Now follow me if thou darest to try who's right in thine or mine is most in Helena. Nay, hey, I'll follow you. Cheek by jowl! <laughs> you mistress, all this coil is long of you. Nay, go not back. I will not trust you, I, nor longer stay in your cursed company. Your hands than mine are quicker for a fray. My legs are longer, though, to run away. I am. Amazed and know not what to say. This is thy negligence. Thou hast mistaked, or else committed thy knaveries willfully. Believe me, King of Shadows, I mistook. Did not you tell me that I would know the man by the Athenian garments he had on? And so far blameless proves my enterprise that I have anointed an Athenian's eyes. And so far am I glad it did so sort. As this their jangling I esteem a sport. Thou seest these two lovers seek out a place to fight. Hide therefore, Robin, overcast the night, and lead these testy rivals so astray as one come not in another's way. Then crush this herb into Lysander's eye, whose liquor hath this virtuous property, to take from thence all error with his might, and make his eyeballs roll with wanton sight. When they next wake, all this derision shall seem a dream and fruitless vision. While I in this affair do thee employ, I'll to my queen and beg her Indian boy, and then from her charmed eye I shall release this devil, and all shall be well. down, up and down. I will lead them up and down. I am feared in field and town. Goblin, lead them up and down. <gasps> Here comes one. Where art thou, Pope Demetrius? Speak down now. Here, villain, draw and ready. He goes before me and still dares me on. When I come to where he calls, uh, then he is gone. The villain is much lighter heel than I. I follow fast, but faster he did fly. And fall am I on a dark and uneven way. The hair will rest me. 
calm down, gentle. Day. Ho, 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 coward! Why comest thou not? Find me if thou darest! Where art thou? Faintness constrained me to measure out my length on this cold bed. By day's approach, look to be visited. makes up four. Here she comes, cursed and sad. Cupid is a knavish lad, does to make poor females mad. Never so weary, never so in woe, been dabbled with dew and torn with briars I can no further crawl, no further go. My legs can keep no pace with my desires. Here will I rest me till the break of day. Heaven's shield Lysander, if they mean a fray. On the ground, sleep sound, I'll apply to your eye, gentle lover, remedy. When thou wakest, thou takest true delight in the sight of thy former lady's eyes. And the country proverb known that Every man shall take his own, shall be in your waking known. Jack shall have Jill, naught shall go ill. The man shall have his mare again, and all will be well. Welcome, Robin. Hast thou seen this sweet sight? Her dotage now I do begin to pity. Gentle Puck, take this transformed scalp from off the head of this Athenian swain. But first I shall release the fairy queen. Do as thou wast, dost want to do. See as thou dost want to see. Dean's bud over Cupid's flower has such force and blessed power. Now, my Titania, awake, my sweet queen. My Albano, what visions have I seen? Methought I was enamoured of an ass. There lies your love. Oh, how these things came to pass! Oh, how my eyes do out his visage now! Come, my queen, take hands with me. And let us rock the ground where these sleepers be. Fairy king, attend and mark. I do hear the morning lark. Come, my lord, in our flight, tell me how it came this night. That sleeping here I was found with this mortals on the ground. I like you very much. Ay, 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 I think you're grand. Why, why, why is it that when I feel a touch, 
my rat stop to be to be the band. I, 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 I like you to hold me tight. You are too, 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 too divine. If you want this to be in someone's arms. When my cue comes, call me and I will answer. My next is most pyramus. Hey ho, Peter Quince. Flute the bellows mender. Snout the tinker. God's my life. Stolen hence and left me asleep. I have had most rare vision. I have had a dream past the wit of man to say what dream it was. But man is but an ass if he go about to expand this dream. Methought I was. There is no man can tell what methought I was. Methought I had. But man is but a patched fool, if you would say, to see what we thought I had. The eye of man had not heard man's ear, had not seen man's hand, is not able to taste nor to conceive, or to report what my dream was. I will get Peter Quince to write a ballad of this dream. It shall be called Bottom Stream, because it had no bottom. I will sing in it the latter end of a play during book adventure. I shall be so gracious, and I shall sing it at her death. I like you very much. I, 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 I think you're great. Why, why, why you did that when I feel a touch? My head is a little bit too big of a I, 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 I like you to hold me tight. You are too, 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 too divine. If you want to be in someone's arms tonight, just be sure the arms you're in are mine. Oh, I like your lips. And I like your eyes. You do like my ears? To whips not ties you with the sea, 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 to the moon above. Way, 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 way up in the blue. Sis, 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 senor, I think I fall in love. And when I fall, I think I fall for you. Ay, 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 ay. Sis, 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 sis. Ay, 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 ay. Can sis, 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 I think you're grand. Why, why, why you said that when I feel your touch? My head's so too big to be the best. I like you to hold me tight. You are too, 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 too divine. If you want to be in someone's eyes tonight, just be sure the arms you're in are mine. Oh, I like your lips. You don't like your eyes. You don't like my lips. You don't like your eyes. It is strange, my thesis, that this lover is speak of. More strange than true that I could ever believe these antique fables nor these fairy toys. Lovers and madmen have such seething brains, such searching fantasies that apprehend more ever than sound reason can comprehend. But all the stories that the night told over and all the minds transfigured so together more witnesses than fancies images and grows to something of great constancy but however strange and admirable. Here come the lovers, full of joy and mirth. <laughs> Welcome, joyous friends. Joy and love in your days. Fill your hearts. If we shadows have offended, think but this, and all is mended. That you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear, and this weak and 
idle theme is no more yielding but a dream. Gentles, do not reprehend. If you pardon, we will mend. And as I am an honest puck, if we have unearned luck now to scape the serpent's tongue, we will make amends ere long. Else the puck uh, a liar call. So good night unto you all. Give me your hands if we be friends, and Robin shall restore amends. I like you very much. Ay, 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 I think you're grand. Why, why, why is it that when I feel a touch, my head stops to be to be the band? Ay, 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 I like you to hold me tight. You are too, 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 too divine. If you want to be in someone's arms tonight, just be sure the arms you're in are mine. Oh, I like your lips. And I like your eyes. You do like my ears? To whips not ties you with the this is this is this to the moon above. Way, 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 way up in the blue. Si, 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 senor, I think I fall in love. And when I fall, I think I fall for you. <laughs>